peanut, yes. <laughs> so, so is the Wookiee sulking? <laughs> no, he just looks like uh, like he's just you know generally surly. Okay, you guys come walking in the cantina. Clearly, Kopesh sees the Wookiee that you're looking for, the surly Wookiee at the end of the cantina. Yes, I will nod to my companions there to, in his direction. So, what do you guys do? <laughs> I, I, I'll just go right up to him. Beep, 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 beep. You identify the Wookiee we're looking for in this picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, wait. Is that a wanted poster? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the hmm. village people Wookiees. The village people Wookiee. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk over. Do you want to? I'll let you do some talking, Adam. Who's you? You. You're a good talker. So we know this guy is uh, basically the informant we're looking for. Do we have a name for him already? Uh, you do have a name for him. Someone totally, you know, you you went to an info chin, and he totally gave you his name was Cal. And uh, Cal Cotta. Is Cal aware that we are coming to meet him? He is not. So I will Hi. Side <laughs> I will sidle up alongside him and say, I hear you're the Wookiee to look for if we're seeking a certain individual. <laughs> the, <laughs> the worst tender date ever. <laughs> I'm just all about business, man, as always. I will just look at this man with and just give the best death glare that I can. <laughs> Perhaps I can buy you a drink and we can discuss it. Uh, the, give him a nod. All right, buying a drink, that's a, you know. It's a good start. <laughs> like, well. I'll motion the bartender over. <clears throat> and the bartender droid gladly comes over. Hello, sir. What would you like today? Uh, you look more, like right? a Kazakh on the rocks kind of guy. <laughs> Two more of whatever he's having. I would not recommend that, sir. He's drinking very, very potent alcohol. But the guest is always right. And he pulls up two glasses from the bar, behind the bar, sticks his hand into a contraption that, that attaches a nozzle to his finger, and he pours the drinks with his finger. <laughs> and credits may be dis deposited in the panel there. And he gestures towards the panel to your side. So, yeah, I throw in a couple of credits, whatever it's worth. Now, do you give him any tip? It's a droid. Droids don't accept tips. <laughs> As he totally walks away, you hear him loudly say, lousy tippers. <laughs> droid parts don't come free on this planet. No, they don't. Bitty, bitty, bitty. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys do? Are, the, are you, the, you the other two of you coming to, like, crowd this Wookiee? Um... I just love the idea of it. You know, the <laughs> Wookiee we're looking for, bar brawl ensues. <laughs> Does anybody want to lose a limb? <laughs> I will. <laughs> so they're sitting at the far end of the bar? They're sitting at the end of the bar, yep. And is there a table nearby that would seat four? Oh, yeah. I thought there's plenty of free tables you could take. All it's right. not happy so hour while yet. those two start their conversation, I will continue to walk past and find myself find my way over to the table and have a seat there where I can see them and the door and stuff while he initiates so now, contact. So now did Cal see the three of us come in together? He may have recognized that we are all together. I think that's he's fine. I'm not sullen. trying to I'm I'm not trying to hide that I'm with you. I'm just finding a table that would seat four.
let you do introductory talking and maybe convince him to come on over and have a seat at the table if he's willing. And what does BT do? Um, hmm. <laughs> Are there any jacks? Oh, yeah. There, there's like a whole console area where spacers have their astromechs go pull up for a uh, update to the astrogation charts and all. Yeah, I'm going to kind of like take a peek at what the other astromechs are doing. Okay, the other astromechs... I look like an astromech. The other astromechs, for the most part, are downloading uh, local sports events and updating their astrogation charts. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see here. Um, I will also uh, try and get uh, updated astromech charts. The, they're the um, astrogation charts, considering right now I'm probably the best astrogator we have. Oh, right. And I'm not that great. You're trusting the internet on Nar Shada. Yeah. No, what not was... trusting <laughs> it, but. Do you have protection? <laughs> <laughs> Why, what... yes, I do. What, uh, well, what was our piloting skill we have for the party? Uh, my, uh, piloting Hi. for planetary is, um, one yellow and three green and then four green for space. And I believe Grix yeah, or, uh, you have, uh, the best, uh, space piloting. I have the best of both pilotings. I have six green for planetary and one yellow, five greens for space. See, there we go. He's the pilot. He's okay. a ridiculous snake of a man. But what's your astrogation? My astrogation is shit. I need you for astrogation. Yeah. <laughs> so do well, me a favor, Kelly. Are you paying for the charts or are you going and downloading the free charts? Uh, no, I would pay for the charts. I'm okay. not. I know that my astrogation's not that great. Okay, so deduct 200 credits for updated charts and give me a computer's check. Okay, hold on a sec. On the plus side, that makes it a lot less likely that you're getting something bad. It's almost like malware is a thing in space. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? Yep. What? What would you like for those three advantages? Um, not to be hacked. <laughs> so it's an advantage. Okay, so for three advantage, you clearly no, know as soon as, as soon as you plug in, you immediately realize that all these droids you're watching that are downloading basically, you know, sports events and updated charts are all c currently sliced. And they're yeah, all so being used for something else. I don't get my charts, but I don't get hacked. And you immediately, you're like... And you what pull your, your you physically pull your plug out. As the other astromech just looks at you and just shakes his head, no. As currently he's running the Nigerian Prince scam, which in this case is the Nabu Prince. <laughs> <laughs> or running gambling numbers mm. for some ne nefarious guy called Goto. Okay, now I really want to blow something up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so just warning you. I'm just warning you right now. Back to BT's the bar. BT's about to it's, it's start some shit. Sith Lord <laughs> is seeing BT getting all aggravated. Yeah. Our sniper and the sullen Wookiee are still sitting there silently staring at their drinks. <laughs> Yeah, don't want to crowd the poor, the upset Wookie. <laughs> Come on, and, you and just... BT's like, what about the upset droid? <laughs> you just walk over and say, Wookie, you're coming with us, dead or alive. Oh yeah, that'll go over real well. Yeah. <laughs> so we could add a uh, astromech droid brain to or, or astrogation brain to the uh, ship. <laughs> <laughs> But you said you had two gold, right? I think they both only have one. Oh. Hmm. 
for astrogation, I have zero gold. I have two green. That's it. Uh, yeah, I have three green. That's okay. it. Okay. I have you could, four. Add, <laughs> you could add an astrogation droid brain. It gives us a skill two, astrogation skill two, intellect zero. So that's two green dice. Oh, is it two green? Yeah, not because two. because it's intel zero, which means skill one is a green, not a gold. And then skill two oh. well, that becomes sucks. the second green, yeah. Why hey, even it's, have it's, that? An, it's average. It's better than nothing. I do have uh, four green, so if, if you guys can yeah. come okay. along, I can help. If you can convince him to join your crew, hink, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, you know, yeah. you had you had Leon the professional who doesn't go around talking to people. Come and talk to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the droid has a charm of one green. Uh, I'll be happy to talk to him. <laughs> he just, BT comes up and gives mechanical raspberries. You mean yeah. if he chases me on the ship, we hired him, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just out and ask the Wookiee and say, I hear you can lead us to Zell Kef. That move, Milker? What the hell do you want with him? To end him. Huh. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yeah, I know where I, I can... Uh, I can identify him. I don't know where he is now, but if, if we scare him out, I could pick, pick him out of a crowd for you. Especially since you know he likes to wear disguises, but if you get close enough, you know his scent. Yeah, I hope point that. I know what he smells like, so you get get me near near him. I'll pick I'll pick him out for you. Do you know where we could typically find him? I don't know, GM. Do I know where he typically, where I could, where we would want to start looking for? Him? You know, if he's on planet, he's either hiding in a ship or he's hiding somewhere in one of his safe houses. But you don't know where they are because he constantly rotates them. He's a mite paranoid. I, I take it. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Republic uh, spy on Narshada. Play in the huts against the Republic and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Was a, did, did you say you were conveniently on one of the corner tables, like in the, in the dark back corner? I'm off to the back a little bit at a table with nobody else like immediately around. So perhaps you'd like to go and talk with my associates some more and our droid. As he points out a very scary looking guy in armor. <laughs> now the question is Kopesh, are you hiding your lightsaber Or is it out and proud Remember, this um, is Old Republic You can totally have it out in the open I mean It's there, it's not like it's Concealed like, He, he concealed doesn't have it turned on And he's not waving it around like a light stick It's a rave It's not like it's hidden But it's not like it's like Hanging in the front center like a cod piece, going, "Hey, look at me!" <laughs> <laughs> like like on the table me. as he fondles it. Look at this. Yeah. It's, it's more like a fetch stick. Yeah, you know, it's kind of on the side, back a little bit, but just close enough where a magnetic tether would pull it right to your hand. Right, but yeah, no, no, it's not like you know, mount hanging right front and center there. Okay. <laughs> it's too funny. Just saying. So, Wookie, he totally points out the guy over there. Creepy guy, all in black. Are you wearing your helmet still? Oh, yeah. I, Creepy I don't guy, all in black, wearing a helmet. It does not come off in public. Hmm. What are you, a Mando? <laughs> no, it's just... What are you, a gank? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that if I've been open with you guys, I've built enough trust mm -hmm. that as far as most in people know in the Sith and such, I'm who I really am is, is dead. You're and a the ghost and the, the suit 
and helmet distorts that on Bothan. Because there's not a lot of Bothan Sith running around. Who's a good Bothan? Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's how I keep my anemone and an enemy with in the Sith Empire. They know something's odd about me and that definitely got some powers and assist, but all they know me as is Kopesh. They do not know my true identity, but I'm a convenient tool, so they're not going to dig deep to find out more about me. Because mm. we get the job done. And so that's no, the I'm important not. thing. Exactly. And in the so Sith no, Empire, I, that's all that matters. So yes, I, I do keep that mystique and air, so you know, would not be good for them to know who I really am. From a certain point of view. Yes. So yeah, I see the the, the scary guy in the van like, all right, sure. <laughs> So I will get up and fo follow Grix over and sit down by the uh, guy, the man in black. Kopesh, Cal. Cal, Kopesh. What day is it? I'm just Forgot a... somebody. <laughs> well, I didn't know you were at the table. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I came... we were checking a data port. Yeah, but there's ports at the table. Oh. And this is DDB. Well, no, the data ports are up against the wall. Oh, well, then after I got pissed off, I would have come back. And I'm really agitated right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I nod at him. It's like, good, whatever time of day it is. Figure, you know, Cal's, uh, you know, when he's off the job, he's, uh, he's heavily into day drinking. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand you know and have some information that would be of benefit to us um, would will I be willing to uh, enlist your assistance in, in, with information and also potentially help on the job yeah, if that might okay of interest to you i was telling your uh co-worker your uh your quarry here he's uh tends to run around in disguises but he can't disguise his smell i know what he smells like so get me near enough i can point him out as to where he is now well he's smart and so he lies low he's either on a ship on planet or he he has several safe houses but he keeps you know switching them up and you know can't uh, you know keep track of those i mean okay. hell i would have found him and killed him myself if i if it was easy to find him and remember you guys uh during your little debriefing found out where he is. he's at the party he was like one of the first right, guests right, right. to arrive at the party Exactly. And it's, yeah. it's so, now day three of a seven day celebration. Yeah. So so I yeah, so I look at him and I'm like, yeah, I was just scrolling back up to look at the notes because I remember it said we had a general idea where he was. So um that did it did it did it. So let's see. Um so yeah, so I explain, yeah. So apparently there's a uh Shoray that's uh, uh, occurring and is on for several days that he is apparently in attendance of. So we know where he should be hiding or hanging out at the moment. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's there with the, uh, the, the new Hutling celebration? Yes, yes. Whispers have it told us so. So, well, so we tend to engage them, engage him there. But having the ability to sniff him out and identify him would definitely come in very handy. Yeah, well, the guy owes me, so yeah, I'm in. 
and owes you monetarily? Yeah, or... BT has no tax. I would totally ask why. <laughs> well, you know, for someone who works for the uh, the alliance, he's uh, he's a bad cheat at Sabak, so he cheated me out of uh, 20 credits, so he's got to die. <laughs> <laughs> 20 credits. All right. <laughs> hey, I just got cheated at a 200. I totally get it. I want to blow shit up. <laughs> I, I like your droid. <laughs> so what do we know about this party so far? As far as, like, anybody can go? Or how does that work? There, um, you don't really have intel other than the location of her palace. So I suppose we should go check out the palace to start with. Yeah. Well, I look at our companion here and I'm like, so you seem to know about the um, uh, Hutling celebration. Do you know anything about attendance or uh, any of the information around getting into such of a soiree? Well, uh, that, uh, Mr. Jim, what would I know besides, you know, that... Basically, you know that there's a week-long celebration going on at the Hutt's Palace, and technically, um, you kind of know, thanks to the uh, rumor mill, that all you have to do is show up and ask to uh, honor the Hut and her little Hutling, and bring some kind of present as your entrance fee. Mm -hmm. So I will relate that. Well, it's uh, customarily that, you know, I have never, I have not tried it, but, you know, supposedly all you need to do is uh, present yourself that you want to honor the hut and the hut lane and uh, bring a uh, present to uh, gift upon him. Hmm. All right, then. That seems simple enough. And what time of day is this? Uh, it's basically uh, late evening, but in Narshida, that doesn't matter. Okay. The city okay. never sleeps. It's Vegas, baby. <laughs> Just looked at the picture. Is that a, a family portrait there in uh, Skype? <laughs> <laughs> All the huts. Just pray it's not sexy huts from the Life Day Celebration episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let me look here. Oh, we do have one. So, as it would be, there we have some old, fancy, not super, you know, nothing uh, expensive or crazy, but it a nice and fancy looking uh, gift type or relic item that would make a great gift on our ship that happens to be laying around. What item is this? I don't know, but I just gave you a, a destiny point for a cool little like conveniently si for your, city for your relic. only light side point that you had there's a uh, cool item that's not it's not authentic but it's a good reproduction and what is it Let's see how i throw it back in your lap i don't know some kind of weapon maybe or part of a weapon of a legendary or relic type weapon it's or old uh it's a you good uh, approximation of a, an ancient uh, weapon of, of Yol. Yeah. Sorry, I just had a cat land on the laptop. <laughs> He's like, since you're here and you smell of tuna casserole. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so you have this relic on the ship and you, you're just like, ah, that will totally get us in the door. I mean, you did flip a light side point after all. 
I did. Okay. It was easier so, than shopping for something. The question is, <laughs> is anyone going to ask this wiki, what's the cost to get him to do this for you? Yes, Jeff, this is totally where I let you write your own check, see? <laughs> well, I've already kind of laid out there for him to say something, and so... Yeah. I was just emphasizing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't expect you to join them for free. Well, that is true, but uh, you know, I'm uh, the the player is not quite as uh, up on the uh, economics of this. Uh, if, you know, if, if star charts are like two hundred, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to completely lowball myself here. Can you give me a uh, an idea of what a uh, going rate might be? Well, it depends what you're looking to do. I mean, you could always go with the cheap route and say, get me a ride off this rock and I'll do anything. <laughs> or you could say uh, for a thousand credits, you know, half a month's pay and uh, getting me off this rock, I'll do it. Well, and wow. Or how about the pleasure of killing this guy? Yeah, we can make it happen there. and a trip off this rock. Well, these are all well, negotiation well, options. Yeah. <laughs> we'll even throw in the 20 credits he stole from you. <laughs> <laughs> Worst 20 bucks ever won. And and Bitty Bitty's like, revenge, 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 revenge is priceless. <laughs> but a Wookiee cool. does need to eat. Now, I think, uh, you know. Your little eye probe is like, Flashing green or red, dark <laughs> and light. Has the yeah. ominous, almost oh. lightsaber sound. <laughs> so, so what are you asking from from them for payment? That's what I'm, I'm getting to. Is that it? all right? You want uh, you want my help with Zell? Well, uh, I do want to see the guy dead, so I, I'll cut you a deal on this. You know, give me a thousand credits for my time and uh and my skills and uh yeah i'm not sure that that uh, they'll get me off this rock is the thing but uh um and i want to be there i want to see the his the life leave his cold black eyes Ooh, now we know he's got black eyes <laughs> We roll the dice to answer these questions. Okay, so you guys, you know, finish some drinks. You drink to that, I take it? So so we're looking at 1,000 plus. So you're going to help us plus 1,000. Right? And that's it? Yeah, well, basically, he, you know, the pleasure of, of watching the death happen. Yeah. Uh, we we can commiserate with that. Uh, we could do that. I can give you five thousand credits now. I mean, uh, five. Whoa! Credits. Bonus yeah. pay. <laughs> bonus <laughs> check. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Now five hundred credits now, and if uh, everything comes through without any issue, there would be the additional credits. Okay. Look at that earnest money. I like that. I'm a fair man. Mm hmm. The little upfront cash to keep things friendly. All right. Okay, so we get the screen swipe as you guys, you know, leave the bar and he crumbles up another cup into a little unrecognizable mess. Let's hope BT doesn't piss him off. And uh, the camera kind of shows this palatial palace set up from the distance that you see lights flashing almost like a rave shooting up into the sky really ridiculously bright couple sh hut ships kind of floating around it with uh, little signs saying congratulations you know for the honor of the kajak and then you see this long ass mile long line of people Everybody's got, like, you know, something to give. Yes, it's time for your tithing. You might as well call <laughs> it a, ba a baby present. Wow. 
Wonderful. Go into a freaking baby shower. A hot baby shower. <laughs> a slug baby shower. <laughs> Is there anything you guys do, or are you going to patiently wait in line? I mean, at least you've got four more days for the line to shrink. Um. So what kind of slobs and stuff are in this line? Uh, you're seeing a lot of different sentients. You know, they got different uh, class clothing, you know, different types of mechanic with some power cores. And you've got some some uh, nice, fancy looking guys with chests full of some kind of some kind of valuable in these chests. And there is a lot of security here. And not right. only do you get, do you see the occasional uh, Grimorian guard type kind of lurking around, but you've got a few others that are dressed a lot fancier. Okay. And um, one of you guys give me a perception check. Totally throwing a black in there for all the noise and distraction. One of the you guys, huh? You guys are all guys. Um, guys has become non-gender. I was going to say a droid. Yeah, yeah. Questionable there. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, is there a re really a gender there? Droidist I mean, much? I mean, they can identify with gender. Binary or non-binary, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, there are, there are a few... Also binary... <laughs> one, <laughs> one code either, to rule them all. Either either there are one or there are zero, which <laughs> kind of represents maybe something. <laughs> <laughs> and something else. I mean, you know. <laughs> all right. Um, what's your uh, perception there, uh, Jeff? Uh, two green. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'm making the perception again. And one thing I was going to ask and look for is um, whether they're, as people are going in, if they're being hassled for weapons or whatnot. Oh, you're still yeah. like a half a mile away. You can't see oh, that. Oh, okay. Well. Unless you're doing wow. something to cut the line. Uh, and what would you like for that one advantage? <laughs> And I will Some say, little. let's take a quick restroom break, because I really have to use the restroom. Oh, we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Dave, do you have any kinds of um, coercion-type skills or anything we could use to jump the line? Well, I don't have any coercion or nothing, but I was going to basically walk us straight up to the front anyways. So, I just have two green. I, I'm I'm sword. I'm swordy. I'm not, you know, or lightsabery. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a uh, talker. I'm get I can make a new type. hole in the building. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a whole new entrance. <laughs> well, yeah. You guys get the Wookiee inside, and I'll shoot him from out here. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two. <laughs> you have two, the range. Two green. <laughs> On, um, I think all of my social skills. So let's see, coercion, charm, because definitely not, charm is definitely not my thing. Your Even my leadership. So what's your deception at? My leadership is too green. Uh, deception, I actually think I do have something in. Deception, I actually have four, four green. Yeah, you, know, you could maybe uh, deceive, especially if it's a Gamorrean guard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured a little bribery works too. Oh, just that I have the the good uh, skullduggery. Well, skullduggery is like physical. Oh, like, that's yeah. So where like locks or what's that? What does bribery fall under? Uh, that would be... Uh, bribery would probably be... Not negotiation. 
maybe deception. I mean, Wouldn't I don't know. it be negotiation though? Because yeah, because you're negotiating a price. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Now, if I wanted to bribe him and then try to pull the money back out of his pocket, that would be sleight of hand. (laughs) How far is the back of the line from me? He said we're we're at the back of the line, right? We're about a half a a kilometer back. Half a mile, he said, so. Yeah, Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, we can go up there and, you know, do a, a contest of, of skills and help, uh, you know, the guy that I'll shoot whoever's at the back of the line. <laughs> yeah. Just a second, sorry. Find a target. Whoever can shoot it from further away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I do. Just realized I missed a uh, exercise emergency callback roster. Oh no! Had had to check in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why do I have a bunch of texts from people I work with? Oh, oh! <laughs> Someone's touching base, and you're not touching back. Yeah, I'm working at like a hospital and stuff, baby. They I'd expect like to you to, to like to... respond any time of day. Okay, I want one minute back for my time to respond to this message and read it. <laughs> <laughs> During the day, just take an extra break and you're even, Steven. Right. <laughs> so are we all bats? Sorry about that. Yes. Oh, nope, you're good. Um, for my... One advantage, I notice some little something out of the ordinary or something, or of interest. Mm, you notice one of the guests in the line has a lightsaber tucked away. Oh. Hmm. She's a uh, Trandoshan. She's got some, you know, leathery armor on. And uh, she clearly has a lightsaber hidden under the tunicky flaps of her outfit. Jedi looking. Well, yeah, it's a lightsaber. That's all you picked out. I mean, the attire. or, or kind uh, of The attire does not look Jedi. It looks like Trandoshan, okay. uh, you know, hunter garb. Okay. And uh, and uh, pretty much other than that, not much going on except for standing in a ridiculously long queue. Yeah, paying any attention to our Wookiee? Uh, nobody's paying attention to your Wookiee at the moment. Well, the Trandoshan, though. Trandoshan's like looking straight ahead, oblivious to what's going on. She seems very focus oriented. Okay, because yeah, Trandoshan, right? That's Trandoshan, yep. That don't like Wookiees. No, they love Wookiees. Well, what, for slaves and whatnot? Sure. <laughs> for, for hunts and food. <laughs> right, right. Okay. I just kind of look up at our uh, friend here, the Wookiee, and kind of glance over and kind of back up, kind of like, not going to be any problems, right? What with her? Yeah. I mean, okay. we're talking like a, a you know good twenty thirty feet up ahead. You know, not like right next to you guys. No, I know, but I just want to make sure because, like I said, they tend not to like each other. So, uh huh. Just want to make sure that there, we get there's kind of a a glance back and forth, like understanding that that we're not going to let that get in the way of things. If she doesn't bring none, there won't be none. So, and besides, and I'll keep the lightsaber to myself at this point. All right. So, um, I kind of step off to the side with our entourage and kind of start walking up to the front. 
Okay, so you're basically skipping the line. This should be yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah it and, should. And, and a couple of the Gamorreans kind of like snoot at each other and kind of like look up over uh, over at one of the Clatoonians that are over there. They're the, the very pitbull looking faced aliens. Mm-hmm. And and one of them just, you know, obviously of some importance because he's got a bigger collar on his, you know, coat. He just smiles and just nods with his head for you guys to uh, not be stopped. Okay. As, I just I give a nice curt nod back in appreciation. As uh, you hear a, literally every person who you pass is making some kind of objection. <laughs> they're not getting violent because as soon as they do the Gamorians get kind of close and pushy but yeah. uh, they're all talking smack as you go walking th- in front of all these people in line and we pay absolutely positively no attention to any of it <laughs> yes I am that person <laughs> yep and if they know their place, they'll know that we are that crew. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go all the way up there? Yes, sir. Okay, so you guys go heading up. You know, it's. I mean, what else would you expect to sit to do? I totally agree. But I'm, <laughs> I'm just making, uh, you know. Slack jawed look as all these people are looking at you and they're just like, seriously. And uh, you, of course, you get up to the front of the line and uh, there is a pair of uh, immaculately dressed Twi'lek younger men. They're, they're very fit and very young. They're wearing these uh, white tunicky shirts that just like have long flaps that go down to their knees to cover the dangly bits that are not like who. <laughs> but pretty much nothing is left to the imagination as you take these guys in. Okay. And uh, they kind of not look Adam. over to a, uh, a pair of Clantunians, the, the, the canine guys. They both have very angry looking vibro pikes. Mm-hmm. Very loud vibro pikes. What? Yeah. <laughs> as uh, the first one starts to come out and say something and then you would swear that these gentlemen are twins except they are different skin pigmentations they they look so close to identical they you swear they're almost twins yeah, probably and then the uh, first one says our illustrious queen would like to know what gifts you bring her and uh, I'll uh, look back at the uh, Wookiee. I'll figure I'll have you carry our relic, if you don't mind. Sure. So I look back in for him to hold up the uh, the relic. And, you know, the second one, Twilight leans in and is let Coor kind of twitchy and excited and he's just like hmm and and you can totally tell the expression they're making they're pretending like they're art snobs and they know what they're looking like you totally get the (laughs) idea that they do not know what they're looking at looking at that's what i figured (laughs) but they're totally acting the part like they know what they're looking like and they kind of gestured at the snob that knows that it's a great thing they and they gesture, and of course, you know, one of the Gamorians moves this curtain that's there, and you see behind the curtain is a pair of droids cataloging this mound of stuff. And then, of course, they're handing it off to some slaves who are taking things in crates and taking them off to who knows where she's having stuff taken to. And just as he's about to uh, bid you enter and have a beverage, a Big blue hologram of a hut pops up. Mm. And, and immediately, you know, everyone kind of like stops mid 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 word. 
as they kind of, you know, take in what's coming up as the, as you get this big long spiel and huddies of, I would like to thank my mate and my Kijak and my previous mates and all those who have helped to, to assist me to have my hutling. And I would like to thank all of my guests and for you to know that I appreciate you. For you are all in my heart. And, you know, as I'm totally trying to pull up the picture, but it's not a picture, picture format that apparently I can pull up. Hello. So I'm totally going to use Sniffing Tool because it's too good of a hut picture not to use. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, do you find a slug shot? <laughs> slug hut? <laughs> As, uh, feel free to talk amongst yourselves as you're about to be let in. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what's man. going in. And, and like I said, just uh, like I said, we're acting like we're important, like we are. Here. There we go. There's a picture of the hut for you. <laughs> so a, a hut plot is actually <laughs> uh, uh, urban slang for New Zealand uh, uh, chick from Wellington's Hut Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Uh, I've thought about doing a damn character before. Though we did have one once. As the illustrious the lady of the day. Cow. Her hologram pop, pops up as she shows off this little little lump of hutlet that still just like looks like a tadpole tentacle. And she kind of like rubs it into a pouch somewhere on her body and you don't even want to know where it is. <laughs> but uh, she illustriously looks, thank you all for celebrating me and my huddling. I bid you welcome. And of course as the hologram dissolves the curtains part their way to let you guys through, you totally are getting the impression that this is a pre-recorded message for every guest. And that's probably why the goddamn line is so long. Oh, look how. <laughs> As, of course, you're, you're led into a very large party scene. You know, it's it's very large. Lots of talking, lots of moving around. You know, lots of things going on. As, you know, you guys are basically told to get the real party is down, down into the lower levels. I'm assuming you guys follow the uh, beverage dispensers as the droids oh, yeah. were willing to freely give tons of free beverage. By the way, the alcoholic beverage is totally taste watered down. <laughs> and if anyone would like to partake the spice, it's been cut. Nope. We're here to work. Yeah. So uh, you guys basically, you know, blend in the loud, noisy party. There's different, you know, dozens and dozens of different species all, you know, getting together, partying. There's, you know, if you're looking for someone to dance with, there's plenty of dances going on. If you're looking for someone to sit in your lap, there's plenty of people looking to sit on laps. What is it you guys do when you get there? I'm going to follow the lead, but just keep my no my nostrils open. Yep. We, uh, we basically all kind of start making our way kind of Casually taking in the scenes, walking around the the entire place, giving our our friend here the opportunity to peruse the the scene and sense. Okay, so if that's the case, why doesn't uh, our dear hut, our dear hut, <laughs> our dear Wookie? Uh, why doesn't Cal go ahead and give us a perception check? Just all because right. it's you... too soon for all those dark points to be sitting there in my pocket. Right. I have to share them. I knew that shit was coming. <laughs> all right. So let's see if this works. As the Wookiee's getting a puff of spice. And literally some gal Whoa. comes giddily over and she just like takes two handfuls of spice and blows it in his face. 
What would you like for your single advantage? It's the loneliest of advantages. <laughs> I will uh, take uh, recommendations from people who actually have played this game. Uh, blue to whoever rolls next. That's a good suggestion. I will. Th- I will do that. Okay, so as you guys are meandering about, is there anything particularly place you're heading, thing you're looking I, for, form of entertainment um, you would like to partake? We'll make our way to like the gaming area if there is one. Actually, Maybe I was going to might be in that. as we early on as we got into this room and say our, our prey is probably in the lower levels if that's where the real party is. To get away from the riffraff that's up here. Right. And if there's any gambling in that area, he may potentially, since obviously he's already taken our dear friend here, cleaners. Yep. Okay, so clearly, you know, you look for the sign that says gaming hall down, and there's a conveniently large lift that holds you and about 10 other people who are, you know, sipping drinks and a couple of, you know, astromech style serving droids. BT totally blends in with them. Because, you know, T-shirt launcher, rocket launcher, practically the same. Yeah. And, I mean, droids all look alike, so. Uh Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so you guys head on down. So someone other than our Wookiee, give me a perception check. After I take that upgraded dice out. Why not? Go for it. Somebody else. I've done a couple. Ready for me? Yep. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, shit. You don't have to give them all of them at once. So uh, the lift kind of opens up and people start heading out. And immediately you find with your conversation with your new Wookiee friend, the gaming tables of the style of games he likes. And you guys, I assume, are all heading there together, or are you splitting up to make things quicker? See how I bait you with that. (laughs) No, we'll stay in a loose group. Okay. So as soon as you do... (laughs) <laughs> uh, our dear sniper, as he's you know walking around, he's got his rifle strapped to his back. That thing gets in the way, you know. Uh, it, agile as he is, he's looking and not uh, not situational awareness around himself, but looking across the room. It's because he's got those keen eagle eyes that find details a mile and a half away, but doesn't right. notice something crawling up on his butt right now. And immediately kind of turns abruptly and his weapon bounces up against a uh, a male Twi'lek. One of the, the not-so-pretty type, you know, the sharp, pointy teeth, very angry looking. A- and immediately the guy's got his Vambrace out and he's got like a line of spice that he's just... Oh, no. And uh, <sighs> uh, immediately you bang into this guy. And he kind of immediately you know, pops off with a Rylothian curse word and talks shit about you and kind of gives a half-hearted shove at you. What do you do? Um. And take a point of strain when this happens. All right. So, yeah, I'm not the... the charming type but i will you know excuse me no no offense meant we we mean no trouble here and he just says no offense do you know how much that spice costs that's the good stuff not the crap this hut's giving out here this is primo stuff are you going to go to my home world and buy me more (laughs) yes he's got the coked out look Uh, I think at this point, you know, uh, I think some uh, good Wookiee looming will be. They just stand right up and get all up in this uh, uh, in Coke Boy's grill. 
and and as he does that i will i will kind of like reach back and rest my hand on my rifle and say no please friend we we don't want any trouble here okay so wookie give me an intimidation check that's coercion <laughs> yeah people skills is not part of this party's uh makeup <laughs> Hey, there's people skills, and then there's people skills. And this guy just looks at the Wookiee and looks at you touch your rifle, and he nonchalantly just brushes his uh, robes open. And at first, you're slightly terrified of what he's showing you. And you see that he's got a pair of uh, Rylothian ceremonial fighting weapons. They basically look like nightsticks, but they're bladed weapons. And he and they seem very intricate, like they've been modded out. Yes, there's little vibro attachments to each one. And he just says, I haven't cut a Wookiee's hair in a while, Furball. Yes, the power spice, man. Let's get coked out, baby. <laughs> and if you draw that weapon, I'll cut your arm off before you even point it at me. Now, how are you going to make this up to me? And, of course, you have two advantage. I'm going to give a blue to whoever goes next. <laughs> oh, wait. But that, no one... the, the, the two advantages were mine. Um, but I like that. I'm going to yep. give... Uh, yeah, wait, blue can, to whoever goes next. You can actually get a blue from your last roll. Which technically should have gone to me. Yes. Yes, but that was when you guys were upstairs. You left and went downstairs since then. Yeah, that stuff doesn't, unfortunately, carry forever. It's your situational advantages. Okay. You left the scene, so to speak, to go to a different spot. We all poop. So what with would you that, like to do with those two advantage? Uh, is that uh, a blue each or just one blue? Uh, so one advantage will give a blue to whoever goes next. Two advantage can be used to give a specific person an advantage. All right. Well, I think uh, help me out, people. I'm not used to the using advantages here. And, and uh, I will totally say, did the guys send you the cheat sheet? They did. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to go next. I mean, if you want to. Do a blue towards me. That would be good. You don't have any strain to recover, so... Maybe you're being extra loomy and distracting, so the guy's looking at you and not looking at the guy in black armor sneaking up behind him. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> okay, so All you're right. going to give Kopesh a blue for whatever he does? Because everyone looks at the Wookiee, and totally this guy's like, I'm going to cut me a Wookiee if he, stays, if, if he does something or his buddy pulls a weapon out. So who's so, doing what? So I will step up into the scene and kind of place my hand on his arm, you know, in a complimentary, like, hey, buddy, type, you know, touch, and be like, I'm sorry that my companion here has uh, affronted you. I understand the value of your wares. Please just relax. Provide your contact information and I will be sure to have you compensated for the uh, loss before the party is over. Now the question is, is that a charm or a coercion? That's a fucking deception, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying him a damn. <laughs> he he kind of likes your sexy black armor, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He gives you the up and down look. So let me put a blue dice that, in there. Likes the feel of that black glove on his uh, forearm. <laughs> Something about that synth leather. I will take my blue. I got your blue there. Alrighty. Fire when ready. All right, here we go. Let's see where did we go? This one, deception. There we go. All right. Dang. What's with our rolls tonight? All right, I need to pee. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I see we all didn't take advantage of the break at the same time. No. And he looks at you and smiles at you, but then all of a sudden he just sneers this this wrinkly nose sneer of like he knows you're so full of shit. What would you like for the three advantage? Well, for however many it will cost, as I am standing at an angle where the lightsaber is very noticeable to him on my hip. Or whatever that's worth. Okay, so he basically takes in as some monkey lizard is squeaking right over your shoulder. <laughs> He takes in that he looks, you know, literally as he's giving, he's looking you up and down in an appreciative ways as there's nothing creepier than a monkey lizard squawking and, <laughs> and a big buff mafioso agile knife dude licking his spiky teeth while he's looking you up and down. Maybe that's why your deception failed. That's just kind of creepy. Right, right. And then he looks at the lightsaber and he just nods appreciatively. As he just says, your armor's a little dark for a Jedi. And gives you a little winky face. <laughs> and I just kind of give that little, like, helmet nod look where, you know, like in the movies, you can kind of see expression in a faceless helmet. <laughs> <laughs> as, much, as much expression as a helmet can give. Right. But, you know, you, you, they do it well in some of the movies where you can still kind of see there's like a, you know, a little head mm -hmm. shift net taut. Give it that over caricature nod to, to make sure it fully expresses <laughs> through. Expression yeah. so strong, even Beskar can't stop it. <laughs> so he kind of looks at you and yeah. says, but how does, but he does expressions through? <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to pay me back? He's now curious. Your deception failed. He doesn't buy it for a second. But now he's he's wondering. Ah, well, shit. Oh, we don't need that memento anymore. <laughs> well, you already <laughs> gave it away. Yeah, that's uh, already been turned in. Door. So that was the door charge. Um, As he looks so and, and waves his his hand and Leku twitches, and he says, "Sisters, you might enjoy this too." As, as a pair of, you know, Leku come that, that could literally be his sisters. <laughs> yeah, so, so obviously I don't know that my deception has failed. So, um, uh, average cost of a uh, good, uh, good dose of uh, spice. Mm, you, range, you range, it could be anywhere between 200 credits and 1,000 credits if it was good, good uh stuff. For spice? For the good stuff. For one hit? For a whole double line, baby. <laughs> so I'll offer him 200. You offer him 200 credits? Now, how do you offer it to him? Because that could change things. Well, like I said, as far as I know, he's understands the, you know, or I don't know that he doesn't understand the the deception at this point so I'm just like as I explained I will have it uh, uh, credited to your account once we receive your information and he kind of waves to his one sister and gestures towards her hip and immediately like data pad comes out of nowhere from her utility belt And he says, you may use the data pad. <laughs> As uh, he's really leering at your lightsaber. I bet he As is. As the song is going, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. And then um, are you, are you going like... towards her with the data pad to, to swipe the money? No. I don't do such menial tasks. <laughs> My money handler is not here in this uh, festivities. Unfortunately, he's taking care of other business. Would need to happen at a later time. 
Oh, you left your cred stick in your other pants, they say. And he makes this hand gesture to cover up the the little faux giggle he's given his sisters. And they, of course, do the little uh, anime girl. Hey, Jim, can I use this opportunity with the little girl? all interacting with our Sith and staring at his lightsaber to perhaps <laughs> slink away and use a, a stealth skill to um, just blend back into the crowd. You could totally go for that. All right, go ahead and give me uh, give me when you're ready. Go for it. Wow. <sighs> Someone's having a bad day. I mean, the, the, everyone and all of us are having a bad night. <laughs> the majority of our roles have been failures. I think I've just about ruled the only successes. And when I do, I roll a shit ton of... <laughs> yeah, you, you got a bunch. Good stuff's happening. That's all I got to say. It's interesting right shit. So immediately you slink away from the group. Where do you head, by the way? I'm for somewhere where I can get a a good vantage point where other people can't really see me. Mm. Except for. <laughs> so you find a really great vantage point. Right next to somebody else looking at that. There's, or sitting in that great vantage there's point. There's <laughs> a nice little alcove that you see that there's some, some curtains hanging perfect sniper spot great spot and as soon as you slink into it you literally do the whole homer simpson fade into the bushes <laughs> and immediately as you turn around to get comfortable in your new surroundings you immediately see that you got three blaster pistols facing you <laughs> as there's a, a trio of sentients a rhodian a, and a pair of humans have something out on this little, like, like it's not even a full table. It's like those little, you know, coffee tables where you'd stand and put your drink. And they have some kind of schematic or drawing on a plastic sheet. And immediately the one makes this gasping noise and swoops it up. And, like, instantly, insta-draw, three guns pointed at your face. Dude, I can only <laughs> put out so many fires at once, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but look at how many successes I had. Oh, yeah, you, you, oh, yeah, you totally Batman that you. shit. You disappeared and found a great spot. The problem is somebody else was in that spot already. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Wonderful. As as the one guy who swooped up the little map-looking piece of sheet that you, you saw just a glimpse of, just enough to get you in trouble. As his shaking little hand with his blasters pointed at you, he says, Who are you? Who, who, who sent you? Nobody said. I don't know what your dealings are. I've got something out on the floor that I was trying to get a better view of. Uh, you better, better, better view of our plans. Get, get, get towards the wall. And he basically is trying to like point for you to get between them and the, the, the wall. So that way you'd have to get past them to escape. Do you comply? Oh, hell no. What are you, you going really to don't do? Want shooting guns. What's that? What are you going to do? Well, I say to him, you really don't want to fire those things in the middle of this party. Everyone in here is armed. You'll go down faster than I do. Uh, if anybody gets, gets shot, it's going to be you, stranger. Why don't you take off that, that big slug thrower you've got there? Not going to happen. And if you'd like to attempt to coerce them, you can. <laughs> if I'd like to attempt to what? Coercion? You can, are you trying to talk them into letting you go? Yes. Through force. Ooh, look at that. Somebody's been a destiny point. They don't trust the, they don't trust the dice. <laughs> the dice well, he shit plus he doesn't life. have shit for <laughs> dice to roll. <laughs> okay. So they I literally, I think, have the worst the uh, people skill party. As he's proving it at this party so far. Social encounters yes. have been having faux pas after faux pas. You know what it is. It's probably because his character doesn't like this kind of like stimuli. Right. He likes a nice true quiet story. kill zone. <laughs> yeah. True, and, true story. 
I have like the only social skill and that's only deception. And that's only a basic skill. <laughs> <laughs> so mean, go ahead. My, go ahead and give me your skill. role as you're telling these guys just chill the fuck out. Hey, hey look at that. Hey. hey. Lord. Take two strain as these three guys and you know what scares you the most? Is the fact that it's definitely freaking amateur hour. These guys, their hands are trembling. They're they 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 are showing no trigger discipline. You totally know that these are the guys that get people killed, not because they're good, because they have no skills and they're incompetent at idiots. And whatever they're planning is up to no good. But they kind of like look at you, and the guy just kind of like shoves the plastic sheet in his in his vest to hide whatever plans or pictures or maps or whatever that was. And he just gives you that, that gangster side pistol go wave, you know, the turn the pistol sideways and then nudge to just go. And he's like, you, you get out of here and you better not come back with anybody or we'll get any of you. <laughs> You're not worth the blast of gas to, to get rid of. <laughs> I just, I just smile at him and say, okay. Okay. As from this side, he homers into the bushes through the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm back where I started. Yeah. Uh, well, you're in a kindly, kind of safer distancey spot. As all of a sudden, the Wookiee's not intimidating, but the Twi'lek are having conversation with the Sith. And I think our Wookiee should probably roll another perception check. But sadly, they're all still in uh, my corner. Yeah, you got high ground, so. Oh, oh. God. Damn. <sighs> well, oh, this is fun. So I guess we'll be rolling new characters now. <laughs> as as BT's kind of sitting there, his dome's just doing the left, right, left, right, watching the conversation going like a tennis player. And, and the Wookiee kind of like just gets a nose full of some smell. And then all of a sudden the Wookiee makes this stink face. And you immediately turn around and see a uh, pair of Trandoshans. Remember how we had an earlier issue with Trandoshans. This isn't that Trandoshan, because you left him in the dust. But uh, this this pair of Trandoshans are eyeballing you, like how would you look as their, their mate's coat? Mm. And uh, you don't smell who you're looking for, but um, you definitely turn around and see that they are giving you the eyeball, like one of them, like totally licks with his fork ton his skinning knife you you totally don't need a translator to translate that yeah but as that happens what does bt do um hmm. <laughs> bt's like things are going to shit i'm going to self destruct to blow everybody up no. yeah i no no i'm like <laughs> Where would be the most damage? Except for my screen is black. You may have to hit refresh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Does that mean I have to close out and do it? Uh, no, just re refresh the web page. The rest of you can see the map, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like just me. Little... Weird. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm like, I it's can a now big see place. the map. There's lots of different rooms. Okay. And where are we? You guys there are like are. over here in one of these rooms. Okay. Nobody, nobody's asked to see the proud mama. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to, it's like, where, wh which way should I lob a grenade? <laughs> nowhere yet <laughs> i know but that's what i'm thinking so um i want to hold action um <laughs> <laughs> right uh, 
because I don't have a blaster pistol yet, a holdout pistol or anything yet, which is what I want to get. Well, we should have bought one before we came here. I know, but I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Um, Let's see here. Okay, any suggestion, guys? Because I'm... I, I did. thought we had a better picture for him already. I thought we had that one picture. For the rifle. Yeah. We oh, we did it. yet. I have not made it yet. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, we had it last session. I think you carried the wrong token over. I did. Destroy that one. <laughs> but it'll work until I get the Wookiee made as a token. So there. So what do you do? Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, suggestions? Because I'm a little on the tired your side. Skill sets, so I don't know. Distraction <laughs> or something. Uh, well, let's see. Let me. You know, you can always whip out a thermal detonator and point it at them, <laughs> and just just with the other hand say, "Bring it." That would totally. Be Actually, upgrade. I do have a. Uh, but I don't have. I didn't pack it. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I had to completely reopen this. Is you know what this is? That other mission went way too well, so now we. Yeah. And now we're getting. Like, now we have to pay for it. Okay, no, because I, I have that. no. Uh, I am like the least. Let's see here. So for a distraction, would that be skull? Duggery? No. Would that be then? Uh, are you threatening them? Coercion? You know, intimidation? Well, let's see here. Um, my coercion sucks. It's one green. I'll give you a free upgrade if you pull out explosives. I that I definitely have. I I'm happy to pull out one of my grenades. So then, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, hold on. Oh. An upgrade. How can this go wrong? How or can it go wrong? How right? can this not go right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, there you go. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, don't roll <laughs> nothing yet. What, what? what, woman? You said here you go. You literally you said, say? here you go. That didn't mean ready to go. Because I still needed to know what you're doing. I mean, you probably oh, don't want to roll. Okay. Well, I just needed to know so I know what their discipline is. Thank you. <laughs> now you can go. I can't even to try. Yeah, but there was no success. I know. There's no Do you want to fail, so. have a point of threat, and a triumph? No. I mean, <laughs> that could be interesting. I, I'd i be interested to see where that goes. No, no. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> At least the last one, I got a triumph. Well, that's why I asked you which one you wanted. You could have took it. Oh, I want the triumph. It's too late now. You rolled the dice. Oh, shit. As, you as, got one coercion. As, um, I told you. I like and... Actually, I didn't give you the upgrade for explosives, so you, you're lucky. Go ahead and roll again. Uh -huh. And again, she still hasn't flipped that one destiny point. I know. All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, you got okay. two upgrades then. <laughs> So how do you describe how you wave that grenade? Doesn't matter. I don't. Apparently, well, like I'm that droid. I'm like, woo, with like my, I'm like spinning my head and, you know, I'm like, ha, ah, like around. trying to make myself look like I'm crazy. They're like, whoa. Actually, you do that quite well. Just doesn't really scare anybody. <laughs> Yes. But oh, look, the, dwarf, the, the droid is just being funny. You wow, you were... really need to wipe it. Got, so, yeah. what you are you going to do advantages. for those advantages? Um. Okay, the next two of us like each get a blue. Okay, so who's getting a blue exactly? Because that's a specific one. Uh, no, um, can't I use... Uh, I thought for two um, advantage, I can give the next person a blue. 
it's one advantage to give the next roll a, a bonus or two to give a specific person a blue. Well, then I want to just give the next two people a blue. You That's need to declare. So, you need to declare who they person. are. Why do I have to declare the next two of us to go? Doesn't matter who it is. You give one, and then you have three. So fine. Then no, one to the next like person. A... I'll and... totally take three. That your antics are totally not threatening, and no one takes offense. You even get a trend yeah. ocean laugh, which is scary. Because. <laughs> Because that's kind of like a triumph with, the, you know, for three advantage. Well, that's true. I mean, the whole point was to distract. So, okay, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so the next one of you to go gets a blue as she tries to be intimidating with explosives. But the the sad thing is, in but her I'm intimidating feet, it looks like she's dancing to the rhythm of the music that's going. <laughs> so it looks like she's <laughs> raving with a hand grenade. And uh, even one of the Trandoshans starts doing this almost ape-like uh, hop. You know, that little ape hop that they do when they're excited. And they get funny. And he kind of smacks the other one in the chest and does this. <laughs> which apparently is a Trandoshan laugh that scared my dog just now to jump up on the gate. <laughs> and, and he backhands his friend in the chest looking at the crazy little droid and kind of kind of totally does the arm pump just like you're doing with your hand grenade buying our Wookiee some much-needed distraction. I'm, uh, with with Trandoshans around, especially with them, I mean, I'm very uh, tempted here to uh, uh, limber up my bowcaster because uh, it, might, it might be needed, so... Are you saying you're drawing a weapon? Well, it's a, it just uh, instead of having it slung across my back, move it so that it's in uh, so it's action easy ready. Draw. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, it's put it at ready as opposed to you know I'm not drawing it, but uh, that uh, slides it around to a forwards hang yeah. instead of across. And as but not soon, in a threatening manner. Right? As soon as you do that. You a, are a Wookiee, and they're Trandoshans. And they were looking at you, and they're flirting with knives. As soon as you do that, like, out of nowhere, two people dance, move, and then there's this human woman with very slicked back short hair. We're talking, like, not even past the uh, back of her scalp short. She comes up and kind of nicely puts an arm on your off hand, your left hand, I'm assuming, and sure. says... This isn't the time or the place, my furry friend. What do you do? First of all, does she smell funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she smells pretty. Well, does she have black eyes. Do me a favor really quick. Do you have underworld... I don't have any ranks in. Oh, I don't have any ranks in it, but I've got you know uh, four greens. Oh, you have an intel of four. Nice. Go ahead and roll uh, a knowledge. Knowledge underworld. Holy cow! Wow. As Our, she looks up at you with this cute pert smile, and uh, don't worry about noticing anything. There's nothing there for you to notice, other than she has <laughs> pretty eyes and pretty lips. And she's a petite little thing. It's total Beauty and the Beast moment. What would you like for those two advantage? And I totally need to roll you a blue dice as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, three, three advantages. Three advantages. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm not the, you know, other than you know giving someone a, a you know a blue uh, a blue die next time it ra runs, I'm not uh, thinking of any good creative uses for uh, for advantages. Uh, if if you would like, I can throw a suggestion out there. 
I will definitely. I'm I'm open to suggestions. You can totally do that cute Wookie laugh thing and head with her to wherever she's going because the Trandoshans don't seem to be interested in messing with her. They were uh, interested in messing yeah. with you specifically. That's a good idea. So yes, I'll yeah. give a I will give a a, a Wookie chuckle and follow my new friend here. Now the question is, are you going to introduce her to your friends to come with you? Who, by the way, are having kind of a tense moment too, don't forget. That is a, that is true. And I, I will say uh, one moment. Uh, Kopesh, BT, Grix, uh, come along. We have, uh, we have business. And, and, and she kind of smiles and you know rubs rubs your strong arm a little there. It's it's and she kind of like giggles and she says, "Yes, Kosh, they're coming with us for business." And she smiles at the Twilight, and he just stink faces right back at her. You sense there's history between them. Yes. As she just says, "I have a uh, permanent table over here when I'm visiting." As I move to step away, I will slip a hundred credits into his uh, palm. <laughs> Did you include your phone number? No. <laughs> Do you include anyone's phone number? <laughs> <laughs> I figure, you know, he was being cool. He owed something for my friend's mistake i'm not gonna pay market price for that crap but you know <laughs> you mean mark up got. price <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so we get a screen swipe as you guys are in this very nice booth type seat there's enough that 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 you could double your guys's numbers here and still have plenty of comfy room big table in the middle there's a, a spice hookah in the middle of the table as, as she just, you know, she's totally leaning all over Cal. You know, she obviously likes Wookiees. Hmm. I, I bet, bet she what? does. <laughs> I bet she does. <laughs> as, as she just kind of takes you all in, and she, she keeps giving BT a weird look. Wow. Probably because you know, hey, we all give BT a lot. BT's <laughs> full, you know, fully loaded, loaded with an ordinance. And the important question is, has BT put the grenade away yet? <laughs> has anyone asked me to? <laughs> Nobody at the party. <laughs> There's a I simple BT rule of putting it away is is activating it and throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, drawn. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot be sheathed without blood. <laughs> uh no, I'll put it away, but uh um can I roll a perception on her? Um I can let you roll an underworld. An underworld? Uh huh. What is she, Race? Uh she's human. Human, oh. very short, slick back hair, kind of like almost tacked down oh. with hair gel. Okay, so um, on, if I, since I'm the next roll, I get a blue. Uh, we already used your blue. Oh, that's right. Damn. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> I am. Sorry, remember. Yesterday I did a 15-hour day, and I did Oof. like a 10-plus hour day today, so I'm Damn. really tired. I'm surprised she's still um, awake. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, you ready? Yep. Ooh. Hey! So oh you pick, take a point of strain because you're like, hey, I want to blow something up right now. Oh, and I got this grenade. I could, I could just totally throw it. So I will tell you with your vast stores of random underworld knowledge that uh, what our dear Wookiee friend did not recognize is uh, in her blouse beautifully intricately decorated in is clearly the symbol of the black sun syndicate mm. and since you made your underworld role you know that this is a mafia basically that is hated by the huts which means yeah. if she's here she's ballsy as fuck to start with yeah yeah that's an understatement 
underworld statement. (laughs) 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 But um bump. And uh, as you guys are basically enjoying, you know, she's got nice, fresh, good spice on the hookah. She uh, seems to like spice a lot, you notice. You know, she does the whole finger in the teeth spice bit, you know, sprinkles a little spice in her beverages. Yeah, she's a little spiced out. Courage, huh? Um, Who of you has your data pads on you? (laughs) I don't carry a data pad. (laughs) I am a data pad, so it's like... Exactly. Why do I need a data pad? <laughs> oh. No, because, okay, do any of you have a data pad on you? I don't even have a She data wants pad. to know if she can text you who this person yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. I can well, read her droid mind. Can... Exactly. I mean, I have an in-ear com. Okay, so and we have a private channel. I will... I mean, I you do have you your own know. satellite dish, so... Uh, that uh, on our private comms, uh, that uh, she's Black Sun. Okay. And suddenly, Grix has this picture that the Black Sun hired these three complete inept fools <laughs> to kidnap the Hut Child, <laughs> thus creating a distraction so she herself could do it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and at that exact moment, I think Cal should probably give us another perception check. (laughs) Why are you going to do that to the poor guy? (laughs) He's already had bad enough rolls. Can I assist Cal in his perception check? (laughs) Have you ever smelled your target? Oh, no. Have you ever in your career been close enough to a target to smell them? Probably. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I've done close-up jobs before. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow, we are just rolling for shit tonight, aren't we? It's it's yeah. one of those nights. As as she she totally comes up there and says, oh, oh, you, you'd like some? And she takes basically her hand and poof, spice in your face. Uh, Go ahead uh, and uh, uh, lose three strain. As all of a sudden she, you sniffed and she gave you a nose full of drugs. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Oh. As now the Wookiee's high. The Wookiee got me high. <laughs> <laughs> Please just let me shoot something here. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that's what BT is saying. Let me just lob, you know, burn something, yeah, blow let's something. All us hold ourselves together a little better <laughs> under those circumstances. <laughs> you can tell BT is like almost vibrating. <laughs> There's a distinct little rattly hum. <laughs> Don't blow up on on us, little droid. Don't blow up. (laughs) Right. And and she basically wants to know about all of your stories. She's curious. She's she likes to collect people's stories, especially eyeballing. You know the big Wookie that's scary. The interesting droid with explosives inside it, which is a story waiting to happen, and the uh, gentleman with the lightsaber and the creepy black armor. Yeah. And In binary, I'll pretty much say, mind your own damn business. And the socially awkward guy with the big ass rifle, which is totally a conversation piece. Yeah. So what is it you do here? Oh, I'm I'm just a welcomed guest. I I I am I am thankfully maintained by our hostess. Really? I, I'm just merely here to be kept as an amusement for her to, to remind others that uh, she is not to be crossed or there will be consequences. I like to be known as a consequence, if you know what I mean. So you've been disavowed by your family, might I say. And she kind of squints at you and gives this, this little sheepish smile. And she's like, oh, no, quite, quite, quite the other way around. I, I, I'm kept as a uh, reminder of my for my family uh-huh. that if anything were to happen, there would be consequences. 
Mm. Well, quite unfortunate for you. Oh, or those consequences would fall upon the hut. So if anything were to happen to her, the hut would be in trouble. Are you saying that out loud? No, I'm thinking it. <laughs> She's musing. I'm like, but like that's 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 my take on what you're saying. Is that an accurate assessment? That is an accurate assessment. Interesting. As she is just like, oh well, well, uh, if you have you all finished your beverages? <laughs> As mine remains untouched, <laughs> <laughs> helmets not oh, come yeah. off. Yeah, no, we're we're fine, thank you. So, so you know many of the guests here, then? Oh, well, anyone that's worth noting, I know. And besides, I like to, I like to collect people's stories. I notice that uh, you're all fairly tight-lipped about yours. As poor yeah. Cal's got her literally laid all across him. <laughs> so we were kind of looking for. Uh... Long lost acquaintance, Zelkefi. And she kind of ponders for a second. Have you heard his stories? I, I've heard of old Zell. Um, he's he's pretty tight lipped about about his secrets, but I'll gladly tell you what I know if you tell me a little about yourselves first. Oh. And Totally give me a negotiation or a coercion or a deception if you're going to lie, you lying little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. As she's wanting to know and a little to tell a little. Straightforward. Some or many know me as Kopesh <laughs> throughout the. Uh, galaxy. Well, I, I already heard your furry friend here call you Kopesh. I, I knew that much already. Mm. So you've not heard of any of my deeds? No, no. I don't get to hear much while I'm here. That's why I like people's stories so much. Mm. So do me a favor. Either give me a coercion, deception, or uh... What other skill would you like to use to, to persuade her not to have this conversation? Well, I mean, I'm just telling her straight up. So, I mean, I'll give her some basic details. I mean, people know of us, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, I don't know. Maybe let's go with coercion because I'll basically throw out, you know, kind of hint that we do deeds that uh, for highly influential individuals oh you're very important people i can tell that and she she literally just rubs cal's pack muscle <laughs> so you know not directly calling out sith but you know kind of like in okay. moths and things but hinting in that direction so black leather you know. lightsaber yeah but i mean i'm just not some knight i'm representing higher powers so so i, I guess i'll go coercion okay i got your like upgrade threats, there and i got a blue threats in there. of power yeah ho, 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 ho. ready yep all right let's see what we get here let's see what the dice tell us Oh, gosh. gosh, we are just terrible. Tonight. As as you get an idea that she is a very masterful conversation steer, we'll not say oh, manipulator. Sure. We'll say conversation steer. And right, after right. you, you guys have a little you know conversation montage where you realize, yes, yeah, she basically explains that she's she's someone's you know hostage adopted daughter, you know type of deal. And uh, on top of that, that uh, she gets a little more information out of you guys that she's interested because she's she really is genuinely curious about you and what's happening outside this fortress. I mean, palace. Sure. And then she proceeds to say, besides, what are we all just doing here? Let's let's here follow me. And she on the back of her 
private booth, which is obviously her private booth, because nobody's even steered near the thing. She kind of pushed the button and some thick blackout curtains close and definitely softens the hum of conversation and the, 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 the just general cacophony of noise. And she pushes another button and the back panel opens up like a secret mm. door. And she just kind of playfully, you know, takes a sip of her beverage and puts, you know, the straw to her lips and says, come with me. I want to show you something fun. Okay. Are you all going? Sure. I'm a stone out of my head. (laughs) I'm going to go where they, you know. But I'm going to be Okay, so you watching. guys are following her and she's just like playfully leading you guys to the uh, secret pass- passageway here. And uh, all of Definitely a sudden, guard. she just, you know, she gives you all the shh face and she kind of, you know, goes up to a button panel and clicks it so it lights up so there's enough light for you guys to see. And she says, now, whatever you do, just play along, okay? Hmm. Okay. Right. And and just remember, whatever you do, don't make the baby cry. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but the, how does a slug cry? What's that sound like? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> and, and then she goes up to the panel and kind of, you know, twists this knob and pushes it in with a loud grunt. And, and this this panel kind of halfway comes up, so you're all gonna have to like stoop under to get it get through. Not all except of us. for our astromech. Yeah. <laughs> I and think she, I will have to stoop twice. <laughs> yeah, say, poor Wookie's on his hands and knees crawling. Yeah. And she just says, Shh. And someone give me a stealth roll. We all oh, know I who see. that someone is. And uh, I'm going to give you a blue dice, by the way, since so she's helping you. They win. Sadly, I've got to make the pool up to the, the bodyguard that's there. So go ahead and make your stealth roll. Hey. As like hey, a champ, you guys come out of the crawl space and there's this beautiful curtain in front of you guys. And you're hearing lots of conversation on the other side of this curtain. Obviously, you're in a room full of people. As she just gives you the whole and she pulls the curtain to the side and you are actually in the throne room with her nifty little shortcut it's a great shortcut don't you guys love shortcuts yeah mm, yeah yeah there and um as she pulls the curtain back you guys see that uh, the room is full of people and right smack dab in front of you guys is this little baby pod. Yes, Baby Yoda style pod, but it's the bigger version. And inside it is this blob of mud covered worm that's just undulating in the nice, relaxing, sleepy mud. Ew. Oh, you moved it on me. Sorry. Wrong button. I was trying to write I was trying to write S for secret door. <laughs> As you guys all come out right there. All right, ping it again. Oh, right there. Right okay. there. As the baby doesn't make a sound, thanks to our sneaky, sneaky sniper, making sure everybody's super, super sneaky. And yes, I totally put a circle around the Wookiee so you can see him in this map. Yeah, he's hard to see. <laughs> he glimpses in well. And what would you like for the two advantage? I want to specifically give Cal a blue. Okay, because Cal, I'm going to ask for a perception check. All right. Are we ready? Yep. 
All right. Hopefully, hopefully a good one this time. <laughs> what would you like for the three <laughs> advantage? Uh, oh my god, we were just having the worst luck. <laughs> You have three advantage. That is a whopping great advantage. Gunter, ideas? Um, because I can think of great things to do with the advantages, like in combat, but but on on. Uh, Sniffing things out, especially when there's a failure involved, it's like, um. Ooh, I just, I just thought of something drama based. Well, I mean, it, it won't help you whatsoever. You notice, something drama. else you notice. I mean, can't be, you know. Well, you don't really know what you were looking for, but some other, something else of import that maybe you notice. You could totally spot your target's keychain sitting on the t on yeah. the donation table, <laughs> confirming he is yeah, here again. somewhere. Yeah, it's like three yeah, advantage, kind of like a triumph. So you could, yeah, something that helps lead to our prey. And I've got a suggestion, but I will totally tell you my suggestion does nothing other than add drama to the scene. <laughs> <laughs> But it adds interesting drama because it's a drama I just thought up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Our dice, our dice have been giving us quite a bit of drama. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we need any more. Yeah. I, I like David's idea, though, of, of even if I'm not smelling uh, our prey, uh, that we get, you know, that there's something uh, useful that I notice. And that is. Well, I do know the guy. I think if I, yeah, it could be something specific that you want, like something about you know that leads to our prayer that he's here I or mean, something. If you're wanting those three to confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt if he's in this room, I can give you that for three. I'll take that. Okay, there's enough of his scent. The same godforsaken Rodian aftershave that he uses. Yeah. Hanging in this room. I mean, just because that's your secret of how you know his smell is the god awful aftershave he wears. Because he ended up stealing like ten thousand crates of the shit. Mm -hmm. And he's refusing to to sell it. He's using it all up eventually. You God. know beyond a shadow of a doubt he is somewhere in this room. You just right. need to get out from behind this curtain to find out. He's a Rodian. I don't think that was in the description. He uh, wasn't. He's no, a he's, human. He's a. He's a. He uses oh. a Rodian cologne. Oh, Rodian cologne. Oh, gross. Yeah. You know, it's it's the Rodian body spray. I will, as quietly as I can, uh, and to wh whichever of my companions is is ne nearest to me, just like hunch over and into their ear. Go. He's here. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. As Cal looks back and says, he is here. Snarl. <laughs> and she just reaches. Axe. He makes this serious <laughs> face. And she just <laughs> reaches. <laughs> and she just reaches up and goes, boop. I booped your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And that's how you kill a serious moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you guys have managed to make it to the planet. You've made a good deal on your ship. I'm sure David's still working on what he's wanting to put on said ship. And you made a, the contact with the Wookiee, and the Wookiee's working with you guys. I'm sure you'll be cementing your uh, arrangements in the future. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. And you get 10 experience. 10. Wow. Ten experience. That's generous. <laughs> and we'll wonder yeah. <laughs> how much the Wookiee is putting it into perception. <laughs> I mean, you totally don't have to, but you could. I definitely could. Well, remember, <sighs> this guy is a master of disguise. There's a reason why he's very elusive. Yeah, but that that's like nothing to do with 
all the shit that we've been rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. That's Some just because worst. people heard that psst, these assholes cut the line. Cut the line. <laughs> I spent three days getting here. Yeah, well. When when you become a Sith, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> There's privilege when you're a Sith. Sith has privilege, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so we will find out apples. next Tuesday <laughs> what happens in this room. The fact that you guys are like within three feet of the baby hut, who is just like sleepily <laughs> undulating in his 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 mud bath. Well, plus the uh, her Majesty right there. Uh huh. But she's too busy entertaining. Sure. Until we screw something up. As from your secret spot, you totally see that she's got this giant hut blaster. And by the way, when I say hut blaster, that does not designate how large this pistol is in your hands. Yeah, no. That's a scary thought. Ah, the good old hut blaster. And to remind you guys of the scary thought. Dun 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 dun. All right. Thank I mean, you. a hut and a corset. She's kind of almost sexy right there. I mean, <laughs> it's totally got that gremlins. Uh, is that an eye patch or is that a like a monocle? It is a like eye a patch. Face. Yeah. The monocle patch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at that lipstick. I mean, that it's red. Supposed just... to be a waist incher. <laughs> it's it's her corset, baby. Oh yeah. my goodness. That lipstick just accentuates her face. I mean, <laughs> yep. and that dark, Eggs. dark eyelash. That uh, totally eyelashes. works. That totally works. <laughs> the little glue on eyelashes. Eyelash. And a ring in the nose. <laughs> yeah. Just one eyelash. All right. All righty, guys. Right. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Good night Thanks, all. guys. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Lying. relatively speaking. <laughs> <laughs> the Bothan's been in his armor a really long time. <laughs> All right, later, guys. Later. Later.